Hey everybody, um, I'm doing a little bit of a crazy whiteboard session, but I wanted to show you a couple of things that really confuses business owners when they come to you. How are they building the business? How are they growing the business? How are they driving sales? How are they using marketing to drive more sales and make the sales process easier for the salespeople and the sales team? Um, and I wanted to kind of put something out there and it's absolute common sense but nine times out of ten when I meet with business owners I sit down with them for a day and go through things with them we miss this fundamental point so I'm gonna draw it for you and my drawing is terrible but I'm gonna do it anyway so uh, everything that we're doing in business is creating a funnel um, and I'm not gonna sell you any kind of weird software here. this is not what this is about your business operates a funnel of some kind uh, and the efficiency of this funnel taking you know an inquiry here to a sale is critical if you don't have that process nailed down um, you will not sell effectively and every customer will cost you more to acquire them now we all have a cost to acquire a customer and if you don't know your cost to acquire a customer you can be heading for very very serious issues so one of the things that happens when business businesses get really enthusiastic about growing and expanding is they try and push more stuff down here as much as they possibly can the problem is that this funnel is probably a your business funnel your process is not the most efficient to actually close more customers but more so than that yeah inquiries here are kind of the people who've shown interest based on what you've done before that the marketing work in front of the inquiry determines how many inquiries you get most people focus on how can we convert more inquiries and that's a valid and really important process Va massive it's critical how do we improve this process here yeah and there's lots of people training people how to take be more effective in taking people from an inquiry to a sale what people are not doing is looking up here and going how are we bringing people into this process in the first place what are the things that we're doing up here that is actually generating the inquiries because most people are spending a ton of money all over here they don't know which bits are generating the inquiries they don't know which bits is actually converting to customers and if you don't know this bit you can make as much effort here as you want but there's probably a hundred times the amount of work up here amount of customers up here that are never falling into the system and that comes by looking at what are we doing what is it we're about what is our value to the market why should people buy from us and what's the compelling reasons people should buy from us if you just focus on improving this that's fantastic absolutely fantastic but there comes a limit on the success of this you will never get a hundred percent conversion if you are there's something amiss and I say something amiss is you don't have enough people in your process if you're getting a hundred percent conversion there's there's something wrong if, if somebody can show me and somebody can show you how to get a hundred percent conversion of inquiries to sale miracle um, but what we really need to do is focus on putting more people from up here in your marketing world in your social media channels in your exhibition stands in your magazine ads and all that kind of stuff that you're doing to get more of these people to make inquiries and then instead of the having say for an example uh, let's say your conversion from all of this activity is three percent and people go oh, I got a better conversion rate than that no you don't most businesses don't have a better conversion rate than three percent it might be 50 or 60 percent from here to here but what about from here to here how many people did you market to versus how many people made a sale how many people saw your advert versus how many people made a purchase and that ratio is probably about three percent so what businesses should be doing is trying to get this to four percent now you can squeeze as much as you want out here but the big impact you can make on your business is up here you can work your salespeople and put them on all the training courses and training courses are great by the way but if you don't get this bit right you're only giving your salespeople so much to work with 
and then they have to convert. And if they get a 60% conversion, that's fantastic. Uh, aim for 70%. But what you really want to do is if you want to double the size of your business, if you want to grow faster, if you want to grow your business faster, you have to focus on getting more of this stuff up here to convert into inquiries, which will convert into sales. And a 1% change, just 1%, can, can mean in some cases a doubling of your business, 50% growth, 25% growth. That's how it works. So yes, focus here, make this as, as efficient as possible, but the funnel, the funnel doesn't start there. That's, that's the midpoint. There's a whole host of stuff up here. And most people, the reason they have a 3% conversion is because they're not focusing on the key tasks that are delivering the sales. They're focusing on things that are not uh, delivering the value. For an example, if you look at analyzed your inquiries, looked through them, and went how many of them didn't succeed, and then worked out where they came from, you could probably eliminate some of your marketing channels right now, or reduce focus on some of the marketing channels that are not delivering sales. And then you could redeploy that energy, that time, that money into channels that are going, not only generating the leads, but are generating the sales. So it's a big thing growing your business. It's not something you just go, let's put more effort, more effort, more effort. There's a strategy, there's a plan, and up here is a minefield of people selling all sorts of stuff. And you need to decide and figure out what's the best things for my business. So uh, when you're thinking about growing your business, it's not just about inquiries to sales, it's about all the other stuff that you do up there. Because there is a limit to the success you can have here, an absolute limit. And it's limited by what drops into the inquiries. So if you beef up the inquiries from the marketing, you'll convert more sales.